Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up Good morning everyone. Welcome to beautiful Texas. We are on the upper Gulf Coast fishing Galveston Island and uh, if we can get right back into the fish then we're going to be able to do a nice cook video with some redfish. I've been talking to the wife about doing like a bake but uh, let's get out there. We've got all our lures ready to go. Thank you so much if you're new to the channel for clicking on today's video. I hope you're going to enjoy and if you do don't forget to click that subscribe button. Time to start push pulling. Let's raise this motor and uh, go search for these guys. Got to be willing to push pull, no matter how much it pains you to put your mode of transportation away, the primary one by way of that trolling motor or your pedals. They make way too much noise. Even if you think they don't, trust me, they do, and you're going to spook your shot at being able to go after these guys. Let's scan the top of the water and uh, we're looking for those little angles those little triangles at the very surface that lets you know there they go christian that lets you know where they are so we've already got reds right up at the surface tailing ah oh, that's a good sign well let's just take our time because they won't disappear from where they are they'll they'll throw their tail up again and yeah, we just don't want to spook anything between us and them right now. Oh man, they're everywhere, son. So right here where the water's shimmering, and then right back there, then further back. Dang it. Well, I just spooked one in this grass right by my bow. can kind of see, hopefully the GoPro lens will show you just how shallow it is. Yeah, I'm bottomed out. All right, so let's go this way. Get closer to that grass because it'll be easier. All right, well, we're just gonna take it nice and slow and keep casting until they present that tail to us and we'll be able to identify that they're there and manipulate our lure just right so that they'll be willing to bite. Strap yourselves in, y'all. I think it's going to be a long one just to try to catch one fish today. Here goes one right next to me. Oh wow, I just saw him nose it and then take off. Yeah, he looked at it. He looked at it, did not want it. It's a big one too, my goodness. I got something for y'all, buddy. I have something for y'all. <laughs> it's, it's a fish bites jig. If this doesn't work, y'all, then I just, like, I really don't know. I mean, we have to get a reaction strike and that's gonna be the paddle tail. I don't wanna move it slow to where they can look at it, but I want to move it fast enough in front of their face so that they can at least see it and if they're spooked by it well there's no difference than using the shrimp them going up to it nosing it or moving it whenever they're right by it and spooking them something's got to give try to stand up without spooking anything he's got it didn't even move it he just smelled it and that was it yeah buddy I got you guys figured at least I hope I do Try not to spook everything else that's back here but man these guys what a game of cat and mouse it's pointless buddy you are not getting off Oh my gosh, get in the net, dude. Making all that darn noise. Boy, I feel so 
accomplished now. I mean, I had to cheat with <laughs> had to cheat with the scent, but I'm telling you what, I'd rather catch something than not get anything at all. Look at the gorgeous. You are super awesome looking. I'm gonna hurry up and throw him on the measure board, see if he's good or not. I'm making way too much movement. It looks he's gonna be right there. Yeah, 20 and a half. Cha Ching, let's dispatch this guy. Get him prepped for dinner tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so accomplished. There we are, croaking, everything stops. No more noise, it looks brutal, but that is an instant kill right there. The guy, he's dead, he's dispatched, and he's not feeling pain anymore, whereas you throw him in the ice chest, and I'm not saying that putting this fish in the ice chest is bad by any means. All I'm saying is scientifically, they're gonna suffocate inside there he is no longer feeling pain anymore. So everything that I do in uh, processing him and preparing him for a meal tonight, it, like all the movements that you see, it's involuntary like actions to j just the, uh, the brain or I don't, I honestly don't know how to say it. Just look it up and uh, you'll be able to read more on it and be educated to the point where what I am doing is not inhumane. This is one of the most humane manners that you can dispatch your fish. That was a tough one, but I'm glad we were able to come through. It's not that they're not here and they're not feeding. They're being very selective and skittish and they come right up and nose your lure and then next thing you know, off to the races they go and there goes an opportunity. I'm curious how many others I would have been able to catch if I would have just continued using what I got on right now. We're gonna re-rig and see if we can get maybe one or two more. If not, I am more than content with this fellow right here. We'll go home and cook up what it was that I was thinking. the way I wanted it to. Look at that. Like clockwork, baby. They need to smell it. That's it. They just need to smell it. This is way too easy now. Oh, that is a big mama. I think this one's gonna be way too big to keep. Dude. Too big to keep. Holy cow. Let the fireworks begin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. After all these years, nothing is more exciting than that right there. Holy moly. Oh, look at how gorgeous that redfish is. That bronze color that they start getting 
as summer transitions into fall. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh yeah, 24 inches right there. He is just way too big. Here we go. Boy, oh boy. Being able to admire something. This gorgeous. They're hungry and they're eating. Whew. They just, they need that, they need that scent. I'm using shrimp scent too for those of y'all that are wondering. As if nothing even happened. Woo, let's catch another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Classic. Black drum. There we go. These have only got to be 14 inches. And it's getting the job done. Catching them left and right. Let's see if he's a keeper. Probably not. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. He's a 16 incher. Well, we'll see what the black drum is gonna taste like. A lot of y'all have said in comments to keep these guys because they taste really good, so. We'll go ahead and hurry up and dispatch the fella and get him on ice. There we go. Two of them. Three of them. didn't want it yeah so it's uh it's not a sure thing they're still out here feeding they're in the grass pushing bait out of it I don't think they're really going after the mullet I mean I'm pretty sure they're opportunistic and they'll hit a mullet if it gets right in front of their face there goes that third one right there but I do believe I'm I'm done um, I'm hot I'm thirsty and my back camera that fella back there overheated that's how hot it is so we're gonna leave all these guys biting there are a ton of them out here so before we get back to the house I just wanted to let y'all know I am on patreon y'all and if you're visiting from out of state or uh, the landlocked areas and you want to come enjoy the Texas Gulf Coast uh, use me as your eyes and ears on the water everything that I see I'm gonna relay in an in-depth detailed report on patreon and uh, it's a very low price I cannot believe how many reds are tailing out here black drum as well uh, their tails are up they're feeding get you some of these fish bites I mean that's what did the trick for me I'm not sponsored by those guys at all. But yeah, we're gonna take this one back to the house and uh, we'll uh, make something nice and delicious out of these fish. Two 
beautiful black drum fillets right here. And so that we can get the true taste of it, we're gonna do just salt and pepper. And I'm only gonna do one side. I'm gonna do about 400 degrees. It's one tablespoon right there. Get the jalapeno going. Get some green onion. We need almost all of that though. There's no true recipe, and if we end up liking it, then it'll make its way to a recipe card for us to make at a later date for family or anybody that comes over to visit. Just saute this really quick. Now all the garlic is gonna go in there. There we are. Okay. Oh wow, the aroma from the garlic is just, oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna throw a little bit of breadcrumbs in there and again, I'm just, we're just gonna see. Just by, by look. This is gonna absorb a lot of that oil. That should be enough breadcrumbs. Let's uncork some white wine. Some flavor, here we go. I mean, we're not gonna use a lot, just enough to get some flavor from it. Right there, probably, I'd say, maybe a quarter of a cup of white wine. And you can see how it's making the bread come to life. Let's prepare our little skillets. Take the tail piece and throw that down right there at the bottom. Take our stuffing. Just kind of place that all around. And take a pinch of cumin. A little bit goes a very long way, y'all. So just a little bit, just to get that flavor from it. A little bit of fresh cilantro. So now we will take and place our filet right on top. I'm gonna cut this into four pads right there. And now it's time to place these into our oven. Okay. And our bake time is going to be approximately 10 minutes. We'll do 15. Take a look at it. And then there we go. And so there we go. Come get a close up of this right here. All we're gonna do is just watch that right there. I'm gonna say 10 minutes, being that the filet is so thin, it shouldn't take too long. Everything else is already cooked. And it's Friday. It didn't have like all the seasonings because I've never tried black drum before and I kind of wanted fishy, to. So I think you're gonna need to. It smells more fishy than normal. I want you to try it. Is it hot? I just want you to try it. But is it cooled off enough for me to bite it? It tastes nothing to me like what it smelled like when it was coming out. It doesn't taste it fishy. It does not taste fishy. Yeah. I love being able to put together something and not have any clue how it's going to come out, but you just think about it. And the jalapeno, thank God I took some of it out because you can still get the spice, but not all of it. Yeah. I was apprehensive on the use of breadcrumbs uh, normally we're going to use panko, but it's just like, mm, you kind of get tired of it and you want to see the alternatives that are out there and the breadcrumbs, it really worked out. No, I'm saying like it has a different texture than like all the other fish, the red fish I know. flounder. I mean, black drum, it's similar to the red drum as far as the way the filet or the scales and the way the fish looks, but the texture of the meat is... 
it's a bit smaller than the red because the flesh on a red is pretty, it's almost the, the texture of a steak. Whereas the black drum, I'm not gonna say it's a filet mignon or anything like that, like the tenderloin, but it's softer than the redfish. It, mm. it really tastes good. Yeah, it's a really good, really good dish. I think you could have used more jalapeno to make it a little Possibly, more spicy. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I love you for clicking on the videos. If you're new to the channel and you made it this far in, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it to the point that you're gonna wanna click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the future and upcoming content that we're bringing from the Texas Gulf Coast. And uh, yeah, that is it. Until next time, tight lines y'all. I really do like this though. It's really good. I'm gonna ask the boys if they wanna try it.